Quasar e Motorsports. What's up, guys? This is Quasar, and today we're going to start the CRF 150RB electric conversion. In this build series, I'll be developing the bolt on kit that we'll be selling on our website. We'll be using the Electron Company powertrain and battery, so we'll be using the Noisy Cricket the QS138 V3, and likely an 8P21S Electro & Co battery. So I've already gone ahead and done a few things on this bike. I put a new seat cover on it. I um, polished up the swing arm, cleaned up the wheels a bit. Went ahead and polished up the triple clamps just to get a head start on this build. Uh, cleaned up the front wheel. I rebuilt the forks. It's got a BBR heavy duty springs in there. And I've got the BBR heavy duty rear spring on here, so it's already set up with the suspension. Um, I've started the motor mounts a bit. These motor mounts are from a different bike, but uh, the design actually fits this motor. So I'm just kind of getting a good approximation of where the motor is going to mount in the bike, and then I'll make some custom mounts, and you guys will be with me for that. Our next task is going to be looking for a good mounting position for the battery to fit. Again, this is the 8P21S Electro & Co battery. And I think I found the perfect position for it. It's in there sideways. I think I have enough room to make a tray that'll mount to that top motor mount. And over here to these uh, factory uh, motor mounts right there. If we walk over to the other side. We've got our plugs facing backwards, which is perfect. Uh, the motor's going to be a little tighter in there, so we'll get a little bit more room, but it looks like we've got about an inch to play with up there, so I should be able to get the mounts in there just perfect. After about an hour and a half of trying different forms and getting the motor placement perfect, I've got it figured out. Luckily we have this mount we made prior, so we're going to go off of this. If you look right here, you can see the shadows, those line up nice. And then this piece right here is going to mount to these two bolts, back here to the swing arm bolt. And then there's not going to be a bolt here, there is a bolt on the motor right here, but we're going to take the cross section for the battery tray hold down and mount it to that bolt and to this bolt. Now we've got our bolt hole alignment. The front set up good. The hole down there is lined up nice. All this lines up good. I'm going to have to use this tab system for the, uh, the rear mounts. No way of getting around that really. Um, because the uh, swing arm itself is offset from the motor mounts about 3 16th of an inch, which is pretty much exact, I have to run the tab system. Um, unless I get this whole plate machined out of maybe quarter inch thick, and then everything will have to be machined down just to have a, a little piece right there. It's just not going to work out. Um, so yeah, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to cut this out of uh, aluminum on my CNC soon here, and we will move on from there. So this is an ArcDroid CNC. It has a program called Simple Trace where you can use this stylus right here and trace your pattern. It'll store it into the machine, you attach your torch, and it'll actually cut it out for you. No going into CAD and designing anything. You can just trace your part and it'll cut it right out. We've got our file traced out now. We're gonna go ahead and run it, and make sure that everything works fine. Disregard the file name Ranger. Um, in this machine, you have to set a file name for all the files you save. For some reason, it doesn't let you set them individually yet but I'm sure that um, Andrew, the creator of the Arcro TNC, will be working on that soon. Okay, that looks really good. We're gonna attach the torch and we're gonna cut it. We've got a nice piece of 6061 aluminum loaded up and we're ready to cut.
got that figured out now and it fits just lovely. We've got the holes lined up, center punched, and ready to drill. All right, we're gonna be wrapping up for the day. We got the first motor plate mounted. All the holes are in alignment, everything fits nicely. The sprocket alignment looks excellent. Um, if you guys wanna see more, wait for episode two. I'll probably be dropping it tomorrow or the next day. Please like and subscribe the video and stay tuned for episode number two.